Prepper Basics, Fake News, and The Prepper. This is Throttle Up Prepper. Welcome to Throttle Up Prepper. Today we're talking about Prepper Basics. Fake news and the prepper. I am your tinfoil hat wearing host. Welcome. Are we done with this now? We can take this off. All right, enough with the silly props. <laughs> Better throw that out so we don't wrap a sandwich in it or something. Okay, fake news. Why am I bringing this up uh, for a prepper channel? Well, I was thinking, because uh, I spend a lot of time on YouTube. YouTube loves me. <laughs> but maybe a little bit less for actually making this channel in these videos, but uh, they love me in terms of, on the other end, I spend a lot of time uh, learning a lot of stuff, an amazing uh, myriad of topics uh, from, you know, ham radio to solar uh, power to electrical things to you name it. Uh, YouTube is awesome. Anyway, I spend a lot of time here, but... I spend a lot of time, not because I believe any of it, but I find it fascinating and entertaining. Some of the news uh, stuff, and quite frankly, garbage news. Uh, forget fake news, it's garbage news um, that is on here. Is there a lot of legit news? Sure. Is there uh, some good and valuable stuff? Maybe people uh, working to uncover things um, that... You know, they've learned, I guess so. Uh, a lot of it, I think, is just uh, people, uh, a lot of wannabe uh, talking heads uh, that are reading other people's, <laughs> you know, work and journalism that they've uh, uncovered. But that notwithstanding, there's a lot of stuff out there that is pretty cool. And even the stuff that I know is uh, fake news, some of it, let's face it, is just downright entertaining. But here's the problem. It is easy to get caught up in hearsay, in conspiracy theory stuff, hence my uh, tinfoil hat that I started out with. Um, although I did find I was able to think more clearly. Maybe it does block the government uh, waves. Hmm. <laughs> Just kidding. That's fake. Uh, so, you know, there, there's a lot of stuff out there. How, how do we learn to discern? That is my uh, new phrase uh, came up with this morning, and I like it. I don't know if I'm the first one to use it, but I like it a lot. We have to learn to discern. Listen, I'm a very political kind of guy. I think and measure a lot of things through the prism of politics. Uh, if I didn't have so much crap in my closet, I would uh, be running for office myself. <laughs> Uh, I might get a couple of votes, maybe even become city dog catcher one day. Although I think you have to be able to drive for that. <laughs> Not much of a future for me in politics. But listen, we have to learn. And as much as a, a political oriented kind of guy that I am, I had to do this. And you need to do it too. Learn to discern. Learn to not just listen to your side of the issues. If you're a conservative person, don't just get your news from Fox. Don't just listen to Rush Limbaugh. You can listen to Rush. You can listen to Fox. But don't make your side of the aisle be the only thing that you listen. Conservatives, listen to the liberals. Listen to the progressives. Uh, get your news from the New York Times. Get some news from CNN and MSNBC. Uh, if y'all are out there listening, you can send a check to my P.O. box. I'll put it up later. <laughs> no, I won't. Um, but listen, the flip side is true, too. Liberals, uh, uh, progressives, don't just listen to CNN and MSNBC and the New York Times. Get some news from Fox. 
listen to what Rush has to say. It doesn't mean we have to be brainwashed by the other side, but you know what? Don't allow yourself to be brainwashed by your own side. Uh, and matter of fact, I'll take it a step further. I do not limit my news to just U.S. sources. Uh, one of my favorites I like to listen to, uh, I think has an interesting spin on things, an interesting viewpoint uh, in the world, is the Jerusalem Post. I uh, have their app on my phone, in addition to all the others I've already mentioned. Uh, there's others out there. Once in a while, I'll listen to stuff and check out what RT Today, that's right, Russia Today, <laughs> the propaganda machine uh, that some would say, and I would probably tend to agree with. But you know what? Here's the idea. If you just happen upon a scene where there is an accident or a fight or a crime, and you interview just one person, just one side of the story, do you think you're going to get the truth? Seriously? Why do you think when the police happen upon an accident, they take one driver over that way and the other driver over that way, and they're interviewed separately, and the eyewitnesses in yet another direction and get their side of the story? Why? Well, to the driver that was at fault, he may not be lying, or she may not be lying, but their version of what they perceive as truth to them may have been one thing. Whereas the driver who was not at fault would relay the story from his perspective, what he saw, also be telling the truth. And you might have 10 witnesses and get 10 slightly different stories. Does that mean all of those people are lying? No. Just everybody sees things a little bit differently. Same thing, I think, when it comes to the news. You know, uh, Fox, Rush, uh, MSNBC, all these places, they look at things through a different prism. And what you have to do in the learn to discern is to decide, okay, somewhere in the middle likely is where the truth lies. So get your news from multitude of sources. Uh, and, you know, include the, the Internet stuff. Because even if it's fake news and completely bogus and tongue-in-cheek all the way, and, and, and obviously so, it still will get you to think about things in a different way. You know what? For that matter, listen to the comedians, what they have to say. No one's going to take news, uh, serious news from a comedian. But you know what? That observational humor, paying attention to what's going on in the world and asking questions, that's what, the, that's what these guys do. It might open your mind up to thinking about things in a different way. Why am I talking about this? Why is this important? What is fake news and Jeff's uh, journalism philosophy and how to get to the truth, what does that have to do with the prepper? There's this little thing I like to think of, and it's called realism. Being realistic. Listen, I've mentioned it in other videos. You know, we can talk about an EMP. How likely is it? I don't know, probably not likely at all. Is it possible? Well, of course it's possible. It's just not probable. Is it possible uh, that, that Russia or China or North Korea... Uh, strikes the U.S. with nuclear missiles in the next week. Um, I, I, yeah, of course it's possible. Is it probable? Is it likely? Uh, I don't think so. It could happen. But that's what, as preppers, we have to do. We have to weigh things in our minds and come up with the probabilities. Um I'm not saying you're going to be crunching numbers, but, you know, uh, you know, a 2% chance of this happening and a 1% chance of that happening and a, and a half a percent chance of this happening. And you go down this really long list of things that could go wrong in the world. <laughs> and, 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 and the numbers at least come back and say, hey, you might want to think about being ready just in case. That's what prepping's all about. It's not about anything weird in my mind. In your mind, it might be something completely different. Again, it's that perspective thing. Me, I find it fun. It's, it, it, it's a hobby in and of itself. Uh, 
learning and researching things and trying things out and figuring out what works and what doesn't work. It's a, it's a, it's a peace of mind thing. It's a stress reliever. Hey, if this happens or that happens, at least I don't have to worry about this or that. So it's, it's, it's good. But when it comes down to discerning what the realistic state of the world is, that's where you have to learn to discern. Get your news from a ton of sources. Don't just get hung up on the conspiracy stuff that's out there, which also could be true. It's one of those possibilities that you have to factor in. But in doing so, it takes us out of crazy land, as uh, some would view us as, as nutty that engage in, in prepping and uh, prepping activities. Uh, and, you know, it's just the right thing to do, in my opinion. Uh, it's good to be even keeled and level headed about stuff. And if you start now, if you haven't already, you do a little here, a little there, over time, you'll be ready. And if the stuff does hit the fan a lot sooner than you think and you're not all the way prepared, well, then being more prepared than you would have is still, you're still in a better situation. Listen, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, share this video, tell your friends. Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely stoked with uh, the growth already in this channel. Uh, I've had other channels that ha ha have not done as well, uh, certainly as quickly. Uh, and I think we're on to something here. I think that we uh, have a cool little community uh, growing here. If you have thoughts, uh, things you want to bring up, please use the comment section on this and any of my videos. Put your input in. I don't know everything. Not by a long shot. I know a lot. I know a lot more than I did a month ago, three months ago, a year ago. Uh, but I certainly don't know everything. Use the comment section to uh, add to the conversation. I respond to everything I possibly can. Sometimes I miss things I don't see so well. But uh, I, I do my best. And, and please, engage. Share, subscribe, tell a friend. And uh, pray. Hope for the best but prepare for the worst. Till next time, God bless.